Hi, today I'm going to show you how to create the flame effects on text using Adobe Photoshop CS3. So first, open up new. And for the width, I'm going to use 2000 pixels and height 1000 pixels. I'm going to make the background black because it will be easier for you to read using white text. If you double click on this layer it will unlock it so you can do a lot more things to it. I'm going to insert horizontal text. Choose the text of your choice. I'll move the text into the middle. Now, if you click edit and transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. I move the text back into the middle. If you click filter and stylize, select wind. Okay. Make sure that the method is wind and the direction is from the left. Once you do this once, you'll see minor effects. To increase this, just press Ctrl F and repeat this action to increase it. I'm going to leave mine at that and now I will edit and transform back to rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise and move the image back into the center. Now again select filter and blur, select Gaussian blur and make sure the radius is 1.5 pixels. Okay. Now if you right click on your background layer and merge visible, it will turn all your current layers into one layer. Now select the split circle at the bottom and select hue and saturation. Tick on colorize and select your hue as 45 and saturation 100 you'll see that your text is now bright yellow if you again right click on your background layer and merge visible then it will all become one if you again right click and duplicate this layer ok you will now have two layers with the same thing now on the second layer which is a copy that you just duplicated Again, click on the split circle and select hue and saturation. This time, leave colorize on ticked and in hue, insert minus 35, saturation 100. Now you'll see it is bright red. Now, right click on the hue and saturation layer and select blending options, blend mode, select color dodge. Now you can see that the text is getting where you want to be. So now on the layer zero copy, select filter and liquify. Make sure that your brush size is large. I'll set mine as 300. And I'll begin to modify my image. I'll leave it at that. Okay. Now I will merge all of my layers by right clicking on the bottom layer and merge visible. Now I will in again insert horizontal text. And we'll repeat the text I inserted at the very beginning with Richard. And this time I'll make the text black instead of white. And move the text over the current one.
and there you have it. Thank you for watching GameGuide site Photoshop tutorial.